Hey everybody, welcome back to One Seed, One World. Out here in the greenhouse today, I wanted to give you a couple of updates on a couple of different things. Primarily the artichokes, but uh, a couple other things too. So about a week and a half ago, um, on a Saturday, we had kind of a snowstorm here. We got like about six inches of snow, it was high winds, snow was drifting, and just kind of winter's last big hurrah, I think. Um, and I kind of wanted to show some of that and do a little video on it with the chickens and whatnot. So I just recently got this Feiyu Tech um, little handheld camera and it does like 4K, does motion lapse and time lapse and hyper lapse and uh, you know, has all different options. Um, you can even do, like if you double click it, it spins around and, and you can do selfies. It's got different pan modes, all this kind of stuff if you're into camera. Uh, stuff. It's a pretty cool little secondary camera to use, and I think it only it's only about 200 bucks, maybe 175 somewhere in there. I'll put a link down below where you can take a look at it on Amazon. But cool little camera, right? That I can use as a for side shots and whatnot to go along with my other stuff. So I wanted to try it out in the snowstorm. So I go walking out, and I've got it on the selfie, and I'm like walking along, and I wanted to show the chicken run because the chicken run would completely walled off in snow because of the blowing snow. And I want to show the chickens in the snow and all this kind of stuff. So do my little filming, my little, you know, kind of vlog thing and go inside to edit it and found that I had uh, accidentally set it on uh, time lapse. <laughs> so uh, this is what I got. Yeah, what was that, like five seconds um, of video with no sound? So you couldn't really see, or I couldn't really use it, except for to show you that little clip there. Uh, but anyway, this this camera is kind of cool. It's got these cool options. It also has a, a building gimbal uh, for stabilizations. So like, it takes like some of the shake and bounce out uh, for when you're, like if you want to walk along. So similar to like what like a GoPro would do, but I kind of like this better. Uh, for just what I use it for, especially since it comes with the built-in stand too. You can like set it in there. Anyway, this wasn't meant to be a product review on a camera. Uh, update on the artichokes. Now this is not an official collaboration video uh, for the artichoke grow challenge, but I wanted to cover some things. I uh, had some communication with Scott at Lacey Family Farm about, I don't know, a week and a half, two weeks ago, and at that point he didn't have anything sprouted yet. So he didn't have really any updates but I've got some stuff going on that I wanted to share with you. So, six days after planting, I got my first sprout. And then on day nine, I got a second sprout, both of the uh, Green Glow variety, and that's these two here. And they're doing really pretty well, as you can see. So I've already up-potted those, along and with two others, also green globe variety that have come up. They came up a little bit later, so they're a little bit smaller, but I've up-potted those as well. So at that point, after, I don't know, that was, I think, by the time that all finished, we were about three weeks in. I had no other uh, movement going on in the other pots for the other varieties, for the Colorado Red Star and for the uh, Violet, Violet, Violet de Provence, the French one that I got as well. Nothing, right? So I took those pots out and I set them aside. I was like, all right, I, maybe I'll try sprouting some like in a Petri dish or something and see if I can get a few more plants that way. So those pots are sitting on the floor. A week later, I come down to plant some peppers or something else down in the basement. Look over and the ones sitting on the floor now have sprouts coming up. Three of them do anyway. So now I got these little sprouts, which just sprouted like last week, I guess. I got Colorado. Two Colorado Red Stars and one of the Violet de Provence. I always feel like I gotta say that with a very bad French accent, so I apologize for that. Uh, but, so now I got all that going. But before I noticed that those had popped up, I put some seeds of the Colorado Red Star in a Petri dish, a condiment cup. Uh, but I call them Petri dishes. I mean, they work the same way as a Petri dish, they're just smaller. And look at that whole bunch of my Colorado, Colorado Red Star has now um, sprouted. So I'm gonna move these into some little pots today. 
and get that going. So that, right now I've already got seven plants. I'm probably gonna get like four more out of here I'm gonna use. So that's gonna give me 11 artichoke plants to get rolling with, uh, which I'm pretty excited about. So I think so far I'm winning the competition just because I've got plants growing and I don't think Scott does. So we'll see how that all turns out as the season progresses. Um, one note is that as you are growing your artichokes, you are going to want to make sure they get enough food because artichokes are heavy feeders. They like a fair amount of uh, fertilizer. So when I up potted these, and I'm probably gonna add a little bit more today, uh, but when I up potted them, I did add some liquid fertilizer. I use this um, by Neptune Harvest, and I'll put a link down below uh, where you can get this. Um, but it's organic fish and seaweed liquid fertilizer and comes in a gallon jug you don't need much of it you only need one tablespoon of this mixed with a gallon of water uh, so you know this will last you quite a long time but you'll probably want to give feedings to your artichokes and any other plants that you have that might have heavy that might be heavy feeders uh, that you want to add some of this liquid type fertilizer to that's organic um, when you water your plant, do a mixture of that, water your plant with it, and that will help continue to feed your plants. You probably only have to do it about once a month. I did do one feeding on these big ones uh, a couple weeks ago, and just because uh, some of these are starting to dry out and need some water now, I think, I'm going to do a little bit more today and just give them a little bit of extra. I, I want to make sure that they've got enough nutrients to keep them going, to keep them growing as well as they have. Uh, I have also been bringing them out during the daytime when it's nice and not too cold out, set them out so they can start getting acclimated to the regular sunlight, start hardening off. Um, but, you know, I still have five weeks left before my last frost date, so there's going to be a whole lot of schlepping stuff inside to outside um, and back and forth um, to kind of keep them used to the sunlight. When you're hardening off plants, you know, you need to do it... Uh, for a very short period of time and then build that time up each day. So what I did is I actually started them off in the shade for like a couple hours and then I took them back inside. The next day I left them out a little bit longer in the shade but then also mixed some regular like full sunlight. And then the last couple times I brought them out I think I had them in full sunlight for most of the afternoon. So they're, they're getting um, more hardened off now and I'm just gonna have to keep doing that for the next few weeks until I can be able to plant stuff outside. So, I'm gonna get these ones in the Petri dish moved over and uh, get it, and I'm gonna just gonna reuse the, the pots that um, were nothing sprouted before. So, that way I'm not having to get out more dirt and all that kind of stuff. Uh, also, wanted to give a shout out to one of our viewers, uh, I think it's Grow with Texas, who has been following the artichoke uh, video series, although this is really only the second in the series, but uh, who, who is also kind of participating in growing artichokes as well. And you had mentioned on uh, a comment recently that you have just, I think recently have in the last couple of weeks have up potted your artichokes. You've got seedlings going. And so keep us updated and congratulations on getting yours going. All right. Artichoke history. Just a little thing today. Last time we talked about Sierra Terranova, the mafia guy who was the artichoke king. Well, there's also an artichoke queen. Uh, back in, I think it was 1948, Marilyn Monroe somehow went to go visit some artichoke fields or artichoke producers, farmers, what have you. And they were so impressed with her that they dubbed her the artichoke queen. And now I think there's like a yearly thing where uh, there's an artichoke queen every year. I don't know if it's a competition or what. I didn't delve that deeply into the longevity of the history of it, uh, except for that Marilyn Monroe, who was very popular back in the day, was the first artichoke queen in 1948. So there's your little tidbit of artichoke history to go in with these videos. So that's about uh, all that I have going on so far. I did, if you saw any of my uh, videos in the last week or so, uh, or last couple weeks, you know, I've got 
um, elderberries that are uh, cuttings that are now growing very well here in the greenhouse. And I'll show you a clip of that, what they're doing so far in their pots. I also have uh, a lot of my cold weather stuff coming up outside, uh, like lettuce and spinach and mizuna, radishes. They're all starting to just barely sprout. Then of course, this week we're supposed to get like, uh, or this weekend we're supposed to get nights that are gonna be like 20 some odd degrees. So now I gotta cover them all with plastic for about three days so that they don't get frozen off. Now they are cold tolerant crops, but because they're so tiny and just starting right now, uh, a hard freeze like that, like at 20 degrees for three days straight would, would kill them off. So I'll just cover them and they should be fine covered in plastic. And then after that, it's supposed to be back up in the 60s again and we should be good to go. So whatever's going on in your neck of the woods, I hope it's gone fantastic for you. I hope that all of your starting seedlings and growing uh, indoors or outdoors, I hope it's going well. But we will see you again soon and uh, go play in the dirt. Have a great day. Namaste.